Hello, Neil. Thanks for sending your Swing in the Golf Digest Challenge. My name is Mike Richards. Hey, Neil, you look like you've got a really nice stance right here and good grip. Um, hopefully you didn't hurt your feet. It's a good practice drill to do, hitting balls without shoes on. But uh, <laughs> um, what I see you doing in your swing, that probably hurt your toes a little bit or your feet a little bit. Anyway, what I like to see you do is not have so much activity going on in your lower body. You're getting to be a little bit movement there. You don't need all that much movement. And what I mean by that is that left foot's completely off the ground, which you don't you can have it off the ground a little bit, but that's too much. And then you can see how much activity you got coming down. Look at the twist that you're doing. You don't really get your weight to your left side. And then what happens is you got this big flip to your hands right here. So what you're going to do with your power is you've lost your power based on having this backward triangle, if you will, or V. Um, so you're probably going to hit some hook balls, some low shots. You might even hit some fat shots behind the ground with some irons. You might top the ball. You could actually even slice the ball. So let's get this kind of started from the beginning, what I'd work on. A great drill for you would actually be taking this setup and move your feet very close together so the, the, the feet just touch one another. From there you're going to feel more support of your lower body and you make a swing to where you're not so out of control right here in your lower body. And you should be able to hit balls. Not, don't, don't try and kill them and hit them hard or hit them far. You just try and stay stable in your lower body. And then what you should look like through the strike of your ball is starting your, your arms which in my opinion will, will, should have a better chance of doing so once your lower body gets a little bit more stable you start making your arms look like this at the strike and you watch facts and hit an iron you see how everything lines up with the shaft in the left arm so when the shaft comes up here your shaft darn near lines up with your right arm so you got a big power loss going on here. So you got a lot of movement going on, but not enough power in your swing. Well, to me, if we fix your legs, you're going to fix that problem with your hands and the arms at the at the end. But now let's go, let's go back and look at uh, one of your few swings. Again, setup wise, you look pretty good, but for as tall guys you look like you are, your swing is very very flat. It's too low. You see where that club's at? That, was, that arm plane to me is way too low. I'd like to see your arm plane get a little bit more up into this position, which will allow you to get the club down a little bit better. But to me, I think you need to work on your legs first. Get those legs under control, then we can work on the arm plane, then we can work on the, the release and so forth. So right now we got three issues. We've got to keep our, little, our lower body more stable, we've got to get our arm plane up a little higher, and we've got to work on the release. And those are the things I'd work on. And if you take lessons from somebody or if you can find somebody where you live that gives you some good lessons, the couple of drills I would do would be, again, getting your feet close together and just making little small swings. Look, I got plenty of acres to hit some balls. I'd hit some balls back there. And just try and keep your lower body more quiet and then work on a better release like I showed you with uh, Brad Faxon. I think you'll be fine. So good luck, Neil, and thanks for sending your swing in the Golf Digest Challenge.